Hi y'all. <laughs> Sorry I've been so MIA. I've tried to film multiple YouTube videos and didn't like the footage and then deleted all of it. <laughs> so know that I tried to re-upload and update my YouTube, but it just didn't work out. So I'm sorry. I haven't made a video in a while, and I was really on a roll for, like, all of June. <laughs> um, thanks for all the love on my mullet haircut video. That's been really, really sweet, and it means a lot to me. So here I am, making another video, finally. I am just going to film myself re-bleaching my eyebrows and doing my makeup. I previously uploaded a makeup video um, of me doing like an everyday makeup that makes me feel like a fairy. Today I'm going to do fairy makeup, but this is going to be a more fairy fairy makeup. Um, that one is more like an everyday makeup routine, so I think I'm going to rename that video. And I'm going to name this video my little fairy makeup video. So right now... I'm just mixing my bleach and my developer I'm using the same thing as in my brow bleaching tutorial. I always use the same thing, L'Oreal Quick Blue and Ion Sensitive Scalp Developer. You could buy little packets. I'm just finishing these off because I bought a bucket of this and a huge bottle of this. I'm kind of in a hurry because I have to go to Jacob's family's house after this to attend a Zoom party for his grandma. So this is what my mullet looks like at the moment. I've trimmed it multiple times between the first mullet cutting video and now. When I dyed my hair red, I had dyed and cut me and Jacob's hair and filmed it, but... I deleted the footage because we didn't really talk very much. We were kind of just concentrating, so I thought it would be a really boring video. I don't know. I feel like I don't know how to talk to the camera. And I'm not very entertaining. <laughs> Which is why I usually end up deleting a lot of footage that I'm not happy with. I haven't really been doing anything very interesting. I've been pretty overwhelmed with school. So that's why... I haven't been super on my YouTube grind. Okay, so now we wait um, 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna wear. In the meantime, we are I changed into my little outfit. I'll show you in a bit. I so desperately needed this. <laughs> I haven't re-bleached my brows in like a month. Usually I do it like every two weeks. But this time it was... It was bad. My, <laughs> my brows were basically back to their natural color. I feel like makeup YouTube makes people feel, at least maybe for me, um... Like, it's weird to use the same products all the time because big YouTubers have access to a bunch of free stuff from PR, so they have a huge variety of products, but with, like, every single video, I'm going to be using almost the same exact thing because I'm a normal person and I have a limited quantity and variety of items. Also... I actually use stuff up because once I buy something and I like it, I'm gonna use it till it's gone. But I feel like that's kind of unusual to see with like the big beauty gurus because they're always trying new things. Uh, so the primer was my Essence. Essence Healthy Glow, and then now I'm using ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Um, this is the shade 120W Medium Dark, which I switched to this summer. I think I use 100 when I'm not as tan. Now I'm taking Glossier Router. Um, 
This is so old. I always keep makeup past the expiration. I feel like that's also a normal person thing to do. Okay, now I'm taking this Flower Beauty blush in Peach Primrose. I always use peachy tone blushes because I feel like they look the best on my skin tone. This is Hula Bronzer, by the way. Thanks, so smart. <laughs> Talking to the people. Sometimes when I put on my blush and bronzer, it tints my eyebrows, so I put on the lash primer onto my eyebrows afterwards to cover up any pigment from my face makeup. It's my Milani eyeshadow primer. I'm going to take my Hula Bronzer and a blending brush. This is by the brand Crown. It's C511. Sorry, it's dirty. I never clean my brushes. And I'm just gonna lightly put that in my crease. I got a new eyeliner from Wet n Wild. And I also have this ColourPop brown liner, which I've used before. I don't know if I should try the Wet n Wild one. I think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna do a little tiny wing. It's so uneven. Ugh. I feel like that's the best I can do at the moment. So I'm gonna stop. So, I was doing the little fox eye for a while, but that's low key cultural appropriation, so I'm not doing that anymore. But I don't know if y'all saw my TikTok. I started doing a little trick to kind of enhance my eye shape without doing the little inner corner thing. And I get some dark brown eyeshadow and a little angled brush. And I just apply that to my bottom inner lash line. And I put that also on the very outer part of my bottom lash line as well. Now, as an inner corner highlight, I'm using Ladybird by ColourPop. So I'm going to do it kind of strong right here in the very inner tear duct, but then I'm going to, this is what I like to do. I kind of fan it upwards towards my brow, kind of in the crease. I'm going to put on mascara. This is my Essence Waterproof Lash Princess Mascara. Now I'm going to take some lashes. I got these from Wish many years ago. I do not like them as a full strip, but I love them as a half lash. So I'm glad I'm finally able to use these because I've just kind of been hoarding them for a while, hoping that I could have a use for them or maybe I will one day feel like wearing them. But now it's perfect for my little half lash moment. I love doing this with the winged liner. I learned this trick from watching Jamie Genevieve's video where you go like this when the glue is still wet and you stamp on the excess glue that's on the lash while both get tacky and then when you put this back on it has glue to adhere to. Does that make sense? So it sticks a lot better. I I have no idea what these lashes are called. I'm sorry if you end up wanting to get them. This is what the top looks like. Um, if there's photos of the packaging. It says 088 in the top right corner. Now I'm going to do my little faux freckles. I got this e.l.f. brown eyeliner pen was hoping this would be kind of shitty um, because it was like a dollar or two and it was better than I thought which kind of sucks but it's okay 
I wanted it to be watery so it wouldn't be as pigmented for the faux freckles. I have like a little technique. I hold the eyeliner pen and I go like this with my finger. It's a little easier than having to do this. Instead, you're just tapping and kind of moving your finger around. And then I stamp that around my nose. Um, you just have to be careful because if you, I wipe it on my hand or a napkin um, every once in a while because eventually it'll just be like a blob um, and you don't want that so when you stamp it on your finger it has a little bit of time to kind of dry down when I start building it up and I want them to be darker I don't wait as long it's like creating your own little freckle stamp I found that being patient pays off and your freckles will look a lot better if you take your time building them up. I've tried to rush it before and like also tried to just directly dot this on my face and I think they look significantly worse and a lot less natural. This is what it looks like right now. Now my last step is lips. I'm gonna do this brown lip liner from Maybelline in 120 Rich Chocolate. Okay. Now I take this. This is super old to the point where I don't even know if they have this anymore. It's just something that I have in my collection. I don't really own light nude lipsticks because I've never known how to pick them out for my skin tone. So this is just something that I own already. Um, it's an e.l.f. matte lip color in Nearly Nude, and I just use this to lighten up the inner portion of my lips, and I mush them around to blend them. I mostly blot the inside because I like the opacity in my lip liner. Now, some clear lip gloss. This is LA Colors brand they have at Daiso. Now I'm gonna put my wig on. I just got this wig in the mail off Amazon. There's like a teeny tiny piece of lace to cut in the front and I'm a little intimidated, so I'm just uh, not going to do that right now. Do I look fairy-like or what? I feel like my lighting is kind of bad. I feel really blown out. Hold on. Is that better? I feel like I look less blown out now. You can kind of see the details of my makeup a little better. Here's my outfit, You can so you can see. Um, I have this vintage nightgown. It has a top piece. Thrifted this from a really random thrift store that I had never been to. I found this hiding behind the formal, formal floor length dresses. Isn't it epic? I wish you could see everything. It, is long enough to reach the floor, but this top part is just so gorgeous. I don't have very much time. I'm gonna go take my photos. Uh, you will, maybe I'll insert them here like I did the last video. You see the photos I took on my Instagram. I'm really excited I'm trying something new. So, that's it for this video. <laughs> I really enjoy these little self-portraiture photo shoot get ready with me because I have a lot of fun getting ready for these types of things. I love this wig. Um, I will link this wig down below if you want it. As an amateur wig wearer, I recommend it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to everyone who is a new subscriber to my channel. I'm sorry I don't upload very often. <laughs> I'm in my last year of my undergrad and everything is remote, so that in itself is already a lot, but I'm going to try my best to start uploading again. Um, 
I think I've just fallen out of the groove. So thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate all y'all's really sweet comments. So if you're not subscribed and you're watching this, you should subscribe. Um, we have a lot of chill, fun times over here in my little corner of the internet. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching.